We're dealing with phenomena that are happening right now, which means we are really at the edge of what we know and what we learn. And students learn about new facts as they emerge and even as researchers uncover them. The students learn about the basics of social sciences, so theories and methods that they need to understand the phenomenon. But on the other hand, they also learn about what technologies are emerging, what does it mean. So we look, for example, into AI, robotics, there will also be something about blockchain, there will be parts about big data. So it's really all those hot topics. So how does that, for example, change the way we work, the way we interact, the way cities need to be structured or built, or also what governments have to do? Knowledge about technologies becomes accessible and understandable for social sciences students. But it can also be interesting for students that come from a background of technology studies or computer sciences because they can get this um, additional knowledge in the social sciences. There would be ideal candidates, for example, for manager positions in companies that deal with technological change and they want to make it humanly acceptable and that think of the users. But they would, for example, also be really good as HR specialists because they know what skills are needed in the future. If the students want to go into research, for example, they're set up for a career because they really know what the new developments are right now.